after a long while I actually wrote something on my blog. Well look at this, it's about the game Chef RPG which is done by the Pixel Architect, quite popular on YouTube because he just has a background as an architectural designer so he has this unique skill set bringing it to the world of pixel art and so he posts very interesting videos about how he's designing his houses and right now we got a new trailer and a release date 12 of September is when we're gonna be able to look at this gorgeous gorgeous Stardew Valley like game uh, which will release into early access and yeah you can expect all of the kind of stardew stuff but you are also hunting for animals and there's mini games for cooking in a very very beautiful environment on a seaside town well definitely one of the most beautiful pixel art games i am looking forward to coming in september Speaking of Stardew like, well Fields of Mistria is gonna enter early access even one month before, on August 5th actually, that's my birthday. So I can buy this beautiful pixel art uh, farming game, build a farm of your dreams as you discover a world brimming with possibilities, it has magic, romance and adventure in this nostalgic farming life simulation RPG beautiful character art i gotta say and just this nice wholesome vibe and the great thing about it is that right now we got a demo so you can actually go check it out and test it out for windows as you wait for its august release date die in the dungeon just got a new demo and yeah this is a interesting take on the roguelike genre deck building especially but instead of building a deck of cards you are building deck of dice beautiful pixel art with two pixel thick outlines the sprite for the frog is actually in pixel art academy as well because it really demonstrates this art style uh, well more games should uh, experiment with it absolutely gorgeous stuff go give their demo a try for windows and mac songs of conquest just came out of early access it's been in development for two years in early access obviously more before that but now finally out in may released and it has this really amazing pixel art embedded into a little bit of a tilt shift perspective sometimes this is named HD 2D and it just looks freaking amazing the game is a sort of a heroes of might and magic kind of a thing so walking around building up your empire and then going into this hex greed fights it has very very positive reviews this is all the stuff from the early access release and it's also by release it's still going strong you can get it for Windows and Mac at 35 euros right now. Scald Against the Black Priory was kickstarted all the way back in 2019, so five years in the making, and now it's out. 30th of May, the game came out, and it is overwhelmingly positive. What a wonderful, it has the Commodore 64 palette, vibe, old school RPG, wow beautiful i just can't get over how old school and combination with new style effects and everything ah so wonderful it is available for windows and mac for 14 euros another game that started its way on kickstarter a few years ago i wrote about it in 2020 on my blog is now out look at this it's c blip it is a seafaring open world adventure where you enhance your reputation as you take on bounties upgrade your ship hire a crew and search for treasure because you're a pirate and if that's not your thing then you can also just go fishing it's in early access now for 15 euros for all three platforms windows mac os linux what a wonderful day let's go play it isle of sea and sky came out in the end of May and it's that kind of a Sokoban puzzle game where you're pushing blocks, chests, crates around 
solve innovative block puzzles while unearthing a mystifying story gaining new friends that change the puzzle landscape and unlock powers that provide more options for how you choose to progress through the enigmatic aisles of sea and sky well has very lots of very positive reviews available for windows for 20 euros quest master now that is a unique take on things this is a dungeon maker where you are yeah exchanging dungeons that you make this kind of top-down single screen things that we're used to from good old days it's another surprise that it's published by apogee entertainment the ogs in the indie pc games from back in the 90s just got out in early access a very positive reviews if you are into the dungeon creation bit of creativity you can play it in co-op or alone or play what others have made yeah give it a go it's available for windows mac and linux for 20 euros and there's also a demo if you want to just check it out Wizard Doom has been out in early access for half a year and we just got episode 2. This is a boomer shooter, man, I love that expression. Yeah, because it's kind of one of those, you know, Wolfenstein 3D. There was even one before that that it software did Catacomb 3D where you had these hands in front of you instead of guns. And yeah, that's definitely what Wizard Doom is going on about should bring a smile to any old school fps enthusiasts and it is available for windows for 12 euros right now special promotion because episode 2 is out and how could i not talk about animal well it already came out at the start of may 9000 overwhelmingly positive reviews yeah the whole internet's been talking about it seems and for a good reason I'm mostly really fascinated by the really striking art direction with this low-key black neon-like line art, just beautiful contrast on everything and the scan lines, gotta love those scan lines. It's a metroidvania of sorts where you collect items to manipulate your environment. You will encounter beautiful and unsettling creatures as you attempt to survive in the darkness. They claim that there is more than what you see and yep, a lot of interesting stuff going on in this game. It is available for Windows at 25 euros. I hope you will enjoy it.